Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Rise of the Tomb Raider as we celebrate the 20 year anniversary of Lara Croft Rise of the Tomb Raider. We are bringing you part two. Excuse me, we're bringing you part number two of the Blood Ties DLC. So, as we last left, we have made it to the library, and here's a quick little uh, summary here on the relics, documents, and murals as we uh, have our road to hopefully 100% completion. So we have 20 of the 54 relics, 15 of the 40 documents, almost halfway there for the documents category, and same for the relics, and one of the two murals. Still need to find the other mural, and we're at 37% completion. So now we have to search for the combination in the library. But before we go into that little area here, I'm actually gonna take a look all the way to the back right here. And uh, start searching clues so over here. <coughs> <laughs> it appears Sir uh, Reginald's helmet fell off. Oh, didn't I put it back properly? And again, just keep using survival instincts. Just in case you find everything. Alright. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna this keep that on. This music is familiar. Pretty much it's for the duration beautiful. here. Right here. There's another book. Always accepted that Richard's rather unorthodox research was something to live with. But but this time, the thrill of discovery has taken hold of me. I never imagined I could be this way. Richard Cable to tell me he's found the monastery. We deciphered in the scroll was the key to its location. I don't know if I honestly believe that this will lead to the fabled elixir of life, but I can't help but feel that a great secret awaits us there. My brother was threatening to shut down the expedition, but I managed to talk him down for the time being. Now I am going to meet Richard. I would bring Lara if I could, but she's still too young. She'll be in good hands with Winston, and when we return, her parents might just be a bit more famous. Do we need to find? Can we look at the back side here? Oh, that's just a ladder to go all the way up. But I'm going to start on the lower floor first. Just get everything over here and then work our way up to the top. So here's another journal here. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by Amelia, the day of our wedding anniversary. That could come in handy. That's the clues right there to the safe. Okay, got to find those objects to figure out the combination to the safe. There's something else here. Oh, well, let's see. Dad's lighter. I don't remember him ever using it, though. The Croft family crest and initials. PC. I wonder if this belonged to my grandfather. Yeah, I had it upside down, but uh, uh, the initials BC, that's pretty much the big clue right there. So we're going to search the library for the remaining combination clues. There's two of them there. Okay, should be able to light the fireplace now. So we have a lighter available. Press and hold X when your fire blazes throughout the manor to light them. Alright. I'll get that map over there in a minute, but there's something right over here, too. Let's look at another recording. I've created a clever little map for Lara's birthday expedition. I used the invisible ink Amelia picked up for me in Morocco so many years ago. At the time, I remember being so annoyed by that rather aggressive street vendor, but she just smiled in her sunny way and paid him without a second thought. I assumed it was just a tourist scam, but it actually works. Turns out, it requires a very specific kind of vellum and a heat source to illuminate the ink after it's dried. It could prove a nice challenge for Lara to puzzle out. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Now that we have the lighter, we can light up this fireplace. There we go. Okay, now, what else? 
I know we've been to the back, a little bit to the middle. Now there's two things by the office desk. Here's a recording. I've reached the monastery. As Roth predicted, it was hidden deep in the Himalayas. And now that I'm standing on these high stone walls, I am overwhelmed by the sheer beauty of the mountains that surround me. It is simply breathtaking. But what adds to their spiritual majesty is the truth of this place. The monks welcomed me, as is their way, but they seem to expect me. They must have known someone like me would eventually come seeking answers. I know this is the place. They've conducted the ritual before. I have seen the evidence, the distinctive symbols carved into the floors, the art displayed on the inner chamber's walls. They've created the elixir before, and they will again if I can convince them. I sent Amelia a message straight away. I want her by my side for this discovery. Hmm, Dad was looking for an elixir. Was it the elixir of life? Alright, here's a uh, map, I believe it is, right here. Oh. This is my handiwork. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. Yeah, looks like it's just the drawing of uh, the tigers. Spent so many hours in here, reading. Dreaming of my own adventures. Okay, and that latter thing will go later. And there's also another ladder all the way over there, which basically leads to the top floor. But again, like I said, I'm going to start at the bottom floor and try and get everything in here. So for the looks of things, we have a couple more to find. Let's start with this one. Here's another letter. One of Winston's notes. He always hid sweets for me to find. Blank in the back. The little love letter at the front. It's just a Winston note. <laughs> and there's one over here. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. This is a hieroglyphics uh, worksheet, which has uh, clues to the safe combination at the beginning. Now, let me see, let me see. These two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one, in the chapter on Egyptian districts. Yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page with the illustration of Ra. My goodness, you've been paying attention, haven't you? This could be an important breakthrough. Does this mean I'm your research assistant? That and more, my darling girl. Takes me back. Those were good times. The best times. All right, let's check out the book. This was always one of my favorite books in this library. I used to trace hieroglyphs. All right. That could come in handy, too. Okay, so that is probably it for the lower floor, but we're gonna go up this ladder over here. And I think there might be something up here. See, yes, there is. This picture was taken in the library. Let's see, in the back. Whoops. Eighteen twenty additions to the main hall in progress. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a huge clue right there at the back of the letter. Okay, and I'm guessing all the way over there, I'm guessing there's nothing. Because obviously there's no ladder over there, so there's no way to get up there. Alright. I think we got the whole lower floor done. So that's it for the lower floor. 
And now for the latter part. In the box. Took quite a tumble off of this old thing when I was a girl. Still feel it in the shoulder from time to time. Alright. So there's boxes in the way, so we have to move them. And let's see. Yeah, that right there, we have to get this out of the way. That move. Now we can uh, climb right back down. And we'll have to move this again. Definitely takes a lot of movement. Alright, up the ladder we go again. <clears throat> okay, so nothing here. I think there might be a couple right at the very end here. Let's see. Okay, nothing there, but there is this. Hmm, blank, except for the image of a key. Oh, and we have an achievement. That's to collect half of the relics in the Croft Manor. And that's the second of two expedition maps as well. I remember this map now. It leads to the master key. But we made it with a special kind of invisible ink. It could only be seen with the heat of a fire. Hmm. I think I stashed one of Winston's master keys in here when I was a kid. All right. Make our way down. I can see the map. Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. Okay, so under a trunk near the bookcase. X marks the spot, as they say. And I think we're right there. So we found 28 of 54 relics, 19 of 40 documents, and we found both murals so far. So it's just the documents and relics. The rest of them that we gotta search for. Okay. So it's right over here. Basically, have to move this out of the way. And there it is. The master key. This should get me into the west wing. go there's the master key all right this should open most rooms in the manor including the forbidden west wing all right so we've acquired the master key so that's another achievement just like that okay now I want to find out what this key leads into I think there might be more clues to find in the library. Okay, so I'm going to check this room in a minute. Um, oh yeah, we're going to finish searching the library over here. For the rest of the combination of clues. <sighs> Gotta make sure I try and find everything. I think we found everything except for the chest here, which we need to open up. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? Hmm. I think this hieroglyph corresponds to a number. But which one? All right. So we found all the clues in the library for the remaining combination of clues. Just got an itch on my ear there. Okay, so the rest of the relics can be found in the Adelaira Master Bedroom. But let's see what's over here first. Okay, Dad's clues mention Mom's paintings and their anniversary. 
Hopefully I can find some answers in the West Wing. Yeah, I'm going to be heading to the West West Wing, uh, Wing, West Wing later on. But we're actually going to go back here. Um, oh, no. Need to search the rest oh, of the map yeah, clues we gotta get everything. Okay. And okay, we found all the clues so far in each of the rooms. Oh yeah, we have um, we have to open up uh, one of those boxes over here. If that leads to the western wing. So here it is. The Croft family crest. Cool. I'll open up that door a little later. Nothing here. And actually, we can uh, light up this fireplace while we're at it. There we go. So that way we can see what we're doing. Of course, sure, some reason blaming the party in the middle of the camping uh, gameplay here. Okay. okay. We just came through there. So, so that's the upper floor. floor. Now we're gonna go through here, here and search for some clues. Or in other words, try and find the rest of the relics in the documents. Here's this one right here. Mistress Lara. I took the liberty of preparing a tray, as dinner did not go according to plans. I've included, in addition to your meal, two treats. I would appreciate it if you kept this but I felt tonight called for something special. If you give me the indulgence, your rapid exit at the dinner table had me concerned, and I wanted to impart some hope to set your mind at ease. I have known your father for quite some time. There is an intensity to his passion that can be frightening, but I recognize that same passion in you. You're more like him than you know. Never doubt that he loves you more than his research, more than his artifacts, more than anything in this world. Storms pass, and tomorrow will be clear and blue again. When you have finished, please leave the tray outside. Be well. Yours, Winston. Okay, that's one of them, and I think there might be one more in there. So I want one more in here. We're gonna find. I guess that's it. That's the only thing we found in there. Oh yeah, we cannot uh, light this fireplace there. This room's done. Now I gotta go back to the uh, uh, the dark room right there because I have a master key that I can more than likely use. And then we'll proceed on over to the west wing. Uh, we're in here already, right? Yep. We have. Okay. So in here we go, because I know there's a door that leads to something. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Guess it just leaves me right down here. Okay. Back the way we came, and now we'll make our way to the west wing. Sorry guys, but I had to search everywhere. Alright, I think we've collected everything so far. Uh, nope, I think we're good. 
Alright. Let's go to the West Point. We can go. We can go that way or this way. I think I sense something up this way. So let's start over here. Up there. Ah, another recording. Oh, I get close enough. There we go. With Amelia gone, the manor is a different place. A dimness pervades, a quiet I can't stand. Even though Lara is too young to understand what has happened, she also senses the change. She's asked after her mother only once, and I'm afraid my reaction must have terrified her. I will need Winston more than ever these next few months to help look after her. I never quite realized how much grief can consume a man. But I am utterly consumed. I know I can't escape the pain, but I will try my damnedest to avoid it. I will seal the West Wing for as long as I live in this place. It will remain exactly as Amelia left it. Perhaps someday Lara can find her own answers there. Alright. So that takes care of that one. Thought that was another clue. Alright, into the room we go. We still need to find that crowbar, too. Alright, so here we are in the master bedroom, and we have a lot of things to find in here. A lot of things. So we'll start over here in the cupboards. And there's another recording. Amelia would not have approved. That alone should have been the end of it. But I am, as God made me, a stubborn fool. I locked all the West Wing's doors. And I shall not open them again until either my life or my obstinacy comes to an end. The night before, Roth told me I would someday change my mind. Like a broken arm cast in plaster, he said. The wound would heal, and we would someday shed the bandages to be whole again. The metaphor made me furious. The clumsy way he cast our loss off as nothing more than an inconvenience. There is wisdom in his rough words, but I've done what I must. Perhaps one day, Lara will throw back the doors to let the sun shine in again. Maybe she will find her own sense of peace in this place. Okay. At least that old thing still works. So that takes care of the cupboards. And yeah, I'm actually going to get this uh, journal next. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion, and I came to realize I want his passion in my life every day. <laughs> so it's done. Richard wanted to wait another four days until my birthday, but I wouldn't have it. Once I make a decision, I prefer to get on with it. So we found a small chapel in Luxor that was just right. And with Roth and the others at our side, we married as the sun set over this remarkable land. Mother will never forgive me. Atlas will forever resent me. But I don't care anymore. I'm free of De Mornay obligations. Free to pursue my own passions and live my life surrounded by those who will encourage and challenge me. I'm excited for the future, whatever it may bring. Tomorrow, Richard and I return home to London as the Crofts, forging our path together. Alright, so it looks like we found one of the two accommodation clues in the master bedroom. Still got more to find. Let's check this closet here. And there's another recording. I am bursting with pride. Amelia is with child. It is amazing how everything in life can change with such a simple event. Obviously, we don't know the gender, but already we've discussed possible names. Perhaps Benjamin, after my grandfather. Or maybe Griffin, 
he was more infamous a Croft than even me. No, Amelia wouldn't have it. Besides, she's certain it's a girl. She favors a, a classic such as Scarlet or Kate, though I've made some headway with Lara. A subtle nod to the sun god Ra, and our days in Egypt where certainly this child was conceived. I find myself thinking about this new life we've created, of how much she might be like us. For all my research into myths of immortality, I may have ignored the most obvious answer to the questions that plague me. We live on through our progeny, our genes, DNA, experiences, passed through the generations. Perhaps this is the simple truth of eternal life, and I've just been too stubborn to accept it. Dad may have discovered the secret to immortality without even knowing it. Okay, there's something on the bed. Mum's wedding ring. I always wondered what happened to it. I know we're looking for something on here. Inscription it's faded. Okay, so I see you have to zoom zoom in a little bit. Okay. Alright, what else do we need to find? <clears throat> I'm gonna look at the other side. Oh yep, there we go. We got more over here. It's always best to look on both sides of the bed. I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. October 13th, Mum's birthday. So October 13th, that was her birthday. And she got herself a necklace for a million. Hmm, pretty sure my parents were married in October. I think it was close to her birthday. So the master bedroom is done, so we gotta search for the remaining relics in the outlier, but we're going to continue in here and try and get the rest of the clues, well, not clues, but the um, relics in the documents. <laughs> Mum, on her wedding day, she looks so beautiful. There's something at the back here. There's a date, October something, damn, the number is faded. Yeah, it could be the 9th or the 28th. To be one of the other. The anniversary was in October. Which day? I can't believe I don't know this. There's got to be another clue somewhere. Okay. Let's uh, check this out. My mother's perfume. The smell. So familiar. I can almost remember her. There is only a couple more things to find in here. There's another statue. This is Dad. I suppose it's a family tradition, but I can't imagine having one of these made of me. Okay, and I think there's one more thing to find. It's just that... Uh... After everything Atlas has done, how could you tell him about the expedition? It's just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. I don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard. But please, trust me. I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go. Without me. Tonight. I will take care of Atlas. And then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It wasn't always an easy road for my parents. It's a watch. I think this was Dad's pocket watch. Oh. Hmm. Looks like it stopped precisely at midnight. Yes, it did. Right around midnight. Alright, so we found everything in this bedroom. Uh, 
guys. Whoops. It's a quick look so far. We got 37 of 54 relics and 24 of 40 documents. By the way, we got an achievement, by the way, for getting half of the relics and half the documents. Alright, we will now head to the Adelier. And I think that might be it for now. There will definitely be a part three. Atelier had sealed it soon after she died. He probably couldn't bear the idea of removing any of her belongings. Okay, so before we go to the Atelier, let's see if we find anything from this drawer. There is another letter. My lord, we all hope your work was well received at the conference and look forward to your return. As is so often the case with these missives, I wanted to call your attention to an incident involving our little angel. It seems that Lara has been the subject of some ridicule amongst the other girls at school. From what I can gather, some of the other young ladies were teasing her for being too much of a tomboy. You know how Lara can get when pushed into a corner. Let's just say they won't be bothering her again. But I do think their words have had an effect. I believe Lara has been missing her mother lately. She's begun to worry that she isn't like the other girls. And having grown up with only a father, it shouldn't come as a surprise that she has trouble relating to them. I wonder if this new friend of yours, Anna, is it? Perhaps she might prove a welcome influence. It might be worth bringing her to the manor to meet Lara. In any case, I'll let you decide the proper time to do that. Please travel home safely. Yours, Winston. Okay. So we'll go inside the app layer. And we'll search for clues there and then we'll go back. Untouched for years, exactly as you left it. Alright. Uh, we'll start with this journal here. I stood up to my family's criticism, stood in defense of Richard and our love. But as my new life began in Croft Manor, doubts and how could love flourish in these cavernous and endless passageways? Had I made a terrible mistake? I have never been more delighted to wrong. Richard welcomed me to the manor, my new home, with a game. It was a clue written in jumbled words from five different languages, but it pointed the way forward. The next clue was a seemingly blank piece of parchment in the kitchen, where the heat of a candle revealed a message written in lemon juice. I followed each step, grinning like a child as I solved his riddles and chased the trail to its end. A white cloth stretched out on the lawn where a picnic was laid out. <laughs> we laughed and ate, and my doubt vanished with the last of the morning mist. Love can and will endure. All right, there's one of one of the relics um, or artifacts, well, relics or documents that we found. Um, the rest. I'm gonna keep the uh, left over here. I only remember. You've almost got it, darling. Here, here. let me show you. Like this, see? see? <laughs> well done, Lara. Well done. I wonder how my life would have been different had she lived. I really don't know if we have anything back here. Hmm. From the looks of it, looks like there's nothing. Okay, let's keep going. Um, what else do we find? Uh, let's go to this area right here. So it's another picture. I don't have any memory of this. I wish I could remember doing this. Mom died too young. And there's nothing at the back. 
Oops. There we go. Alright, what else? So there's, so there's another picture right here. Mom with me is a baby. I've never seen this. Hard to believe I was ever that small. Hmm. That's a cute picture. So this part right here is finished. So we just have this area. Mom's paintings. Which one was Dad's favorite? Alright, so that's one of the two combination clues over here. Um, anything? Oh, well, I know there's a book there. I guess that book might be the only one left. I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there in one of his foul moods. And even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. To think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. I left him there in father's study muttering to himself. On the drive back, as Winston took a longer route through the country, I looked through my paintings. Richard's favorite one among them, a simple abstract with blocks of red. I smiled, thinking about giving it to him. I was happy, and I was going home. Okay, back to the study to open that safe. Alright, so there you go. So we found all the clues. Now we'll go back to Laura Croft's safe. And over her. I definitely think that's it for the relics and everything in this room. And the master bedroom and everywhere so far. I'm glad I still have so much of Mum's work. And of course, if you guys are enjoying this DLC so far, definitely leave a subscription, like the video as well, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, other than that, I'll be uh, I'll be happy if you guys have done it. Okay. Oh, we can start running. That would be pretty nice. Okay. And again, we still need to find a crowbar as well, which is another one of the uh, items we'll need. Okay, nothing in the hall. Okay. Apparently we cannot run in this situation, but I don't think we're in any hurry. Once we open up this safe, I think we're going to call it right here. Yep, in the bedroom already. Dad, what do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. There is something important in here, and it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad. Okay. Okay, found all the clues. Let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, so I pretty much looked it up on YouTube right here. And your combination code for the first one is 549. That will help. And there's an achievement called Master Detective just to open Lord Croft's safe and there's a ton of stuff in there so before we go let's go through all these items it makes me happy to know that dad kept this safe so, so we have a clay imprint of uh, her hand no that's not what I'm looking for we have a recording I am numb it is taking all my willpower to hold back the overwhelming grief Amelia's plane crashed in the mountains. She died alone in the snow, waiting for me to find her. Oh God, not her, not now. I cannot accept it. Life without her is too painful to imagine. I know what must be done. 
And I am resolved. I'm going to bring her back. Perhaps this is why I am here. Perhaps this is fate. A test of my faith in the truth I've sought for so long. Roth will fight me on this, but I can't face Lara. I can't look into her eyes unless I try. I must try to bring Amelia back. The monks are preparing the elixir now, and then we will see if all my years of hunting this truth was for naught. Dad, what did you do? Oh, so there is more. Dad's sequel to his first book on immortality. He never got a chance to publish it. So it's an immortality script, but what's at the back? Handwritten. This is the only ah, copy. Good thing I checked the back. Damn, this isn't it either. I was certain there had to be a will in here. Wait, what's that? Could that be it? Hmm, a blank page. So it's a blank page to the final puzzle. Only if we put it in a fireplace. Dad must have left this for me. It has to be important. Oh yeah, good thing it is important. Okay, so since we have that... Um... You know what? We're gonna call it right here. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people saying, Aww. <laughs> I I'm sorry, but I had to do this for about 41 minutes into the video, folks, so... I actually have to call it right here, so that's part number two of the Blood Ties DLC, but don't be disappointed though, I'll be back for part three, and possibly the third and final part of the DLC. So thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen, and I'll take it to the conclusion, hopefully, of the Blood Ties DLC for the 20th anniversary of Rise of the Tomb Raider. Thank you so much for watching, catch you next time, peace out.